Hi, my name is John Lenz and we're here at Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. We're in greenhouse number four. We call it the seed starting greenhouse. Today I'm going to show you some stuff about how we start some of the 27,000 different plants that we grow every year here. The essential elements for starting seeds indoors early for your garden are, are pretty simple. Uh, you need a good soil mix, you need the correct heat, a little bit of light, and proper moisture. Any seed will germinate if you give it the necessary stuff. And it depends on the seed is what you're gonna, the important question. We start with the soil. We use a pro mix, it's peat and perlite, has good drainage, good aeration, nice light and fluffy. Easy root growth in it, easy penetration for the cotyledons. Heat is something that's important uh, your pepper seeds like to ger germinate at 80 degrees. Your lettuce and cool seasons like to germinate 70. We keep our heat mats in here about 75 degrees all the time. If you don't have heat mats, sunny windowsill uh, on top of the refrigerator, believe it or not, is a very warm spot in your house. This should help with speeding up germination. Light is important. Sunny window still again. It's not necessary for germination, but once you get emergence of your seedlings, you're going to want to shoot a little light at them so that they can develop. Moisture is important for this. Uh, you need to keep it damp, but not soggy. Uh, a good draining media will help ensure this. When we're preparing our soil for seeding, we'll take a, our pro mix and we'll add some gypsum to it because the pro mix is pretty much nutrient deficient. And we'll also put a big healthy squirt of Dawn dishwashing liquid in. This acts as a surfactant and helps manage the moisture. It'll wet up a dry spot and it'll dry out a wet spot. Makes the soil nice and even. Heat mats. The heat mats we have here are commercial grade. There's like 16 of them on this bench behind me. Uh, we keep them set at 75 degrees unless we're doing a pepper crop and then we'll jack it up to about 80. We have overhead lights in here. They're 2000 watt LEDs. These aren't necessary for germination and emergence, but once your plants come out of the ground, you're going to want to make sure they get adequate light or else they'll get leggy and stringy and not be uh, transplant quality. We grow 27,000 plants to transplant. So we need ours four inches tall with a good root zone development. Moisture is important. You want to keep the seed damp, not standing in water, not soggy, not soaking wet, just good and damp. So we come by and water about every other day, depending on how the surface looks. We're going to see about seeding some now, and we'll show you how we go about this. I have some lettuce here. I think we'll probably use it. The key to seeding, proper seeding with different seeds is you want to use the size of the seed as an indicator for how deep to plant it. Squash seeds, big as your fingernail, need to go half an inch deep. Lettuce seed and poppy seed that looks like dust, we surface sow, and then when you water it, it'll force it down. If you get it planted too deep, the seed won't have the energy necessary to emerge. If you plant it too shallow, then the bigger seeds are just going to be growing on the surface. Okay, I filled up my tray, my six packs. I got 36 cells here. Got a package of trumpeter lettuce. I'm going to show this to you. We'll get her opened up here. This lettuce seed is quite small as you can see so we're just going to surface sow this so we're going to try to put one or two or three seeds per cell just to ensure that when we're done we end up with 36 plants we can thin them later got to keep in mind in my opinion seeds cheap so i'd rather have too many plants in a cell than empties so we're dropping a couple, three seeds in each cell, kind of scattering them out. Once we get them done, we'll take them over to the bench and give them a drink. A 
then the water, as we water them, we'll force the seed down into the soil. Got to have good seed soil contact. The seed imbibes the water that's in the soil around it, and this causes the em embryo to emerge. First thing out will be a little tiny root called the radical. Next thing out will be the cotyledons, the seed leaves. We brought our tray over here to our watering station and we're just going to water it down gently. This uh, initial watering, you should get water coming out of the bottom of the tray. Then you know you've got the whole thing nice and wet. Shouldn't have to water it. This lettuce germinates pretty fast. Shouldn't have to water it more than twice more. Don't drown them. I want to show you some of the results we've achieved here at Baker Creek. This cauliflower is six days old. You can see it's just come off the heat mat. It's got multiple emergence, multiple plants in each cell. So we'll thin this down in about a week. Uh, we have a Tom Thumb lettuce here. This is now, let's see, seeded on the floor. 13 days old. It's been thinned and we're getting a pretty decent growth out of it. It'll have a root system that we can count on here in another week. Anyway, seed starting at home is not that difficult. Follow the basic rules, it takes moisture, heat, good soil mix, grow them like you love them. This is John Lenz, I'm here at Baker Creek and this is how we do it. Shani from Baker Creek. Thanks so much for watching this video. We sure love making them for you. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss one.